Welcome to my series of tutorials on mechanical modeling and visualization. To start with, we will see the procedure involved in creating a simple mechanical 3D model. In order to refer this figure whenever necessary, I have kept this figure as well as the AutoCAD software side by side. When you look at the interface of AutoCAD, you can see that I have chosen 3D modeling ribbon interface. This interface is the most suitable interface to do this problem. Before we start off, we have to switch over to the Southeast isometric. Because in this view, you can see the front as well as the right faces of this figure. So you have to first change the view. So to get this view, I'll click on this hotspot of the view cube. I'll just click on the hotspot. Now the view got changed. Let us make the profile of this base. So I'll start with the rectangle tool. Click on the rectangle tool and I'll click on the first corner of the rectangle. In fact, I have clicked on this lower left corner of this rectangle. Now I'm asked to give the dimensions. So I'll go to dimension option. Just click on the dimension. And I'm asked to give the length. It is 96. And uh, the width of the rectangle is 64. Now it will ask you to select the opposite corner of the rectangle. So I'll just zoom out and I'll pick the opposite corner here. Okay. So you have made the rectangle. Now you can give a zoom extends in this navigation bar. Just click on the zoom extends to get the maximum magnification on the screen. Now I have to generate a surface from this profile in this direction through a distance of 16 units. So I'll go to press pull tool. I'll just click on that. Now I can pick inside this profile, just a point I can pick. Now I can move the cursor straight up in the Z direction. When I'm asked to give the height, I can give the value 16. Okay, so it got in fact extruded through a height of 16 units. Now I must make this slot over here. This cut is to be made. For that, what I'll do is I'll just copy this edge through a distance of 16 units, which is given here. Now I'll go to copy edges tool of the solid editing panel and I'll just click on this edge to copy it. So it will ask me to select the base point as well as the second point. I'll select the second point at a distance of 16 units. So I'll move my cursor in the Y direction and I'll simply type the value 16. So it got copied. Okay. Otherwise I should uh, draw a line then I have to give a copy command. So by copying this edge, I have eliminated drawing an additional line. Now I must uh, take another copy of this particular edge, 16 units in this direction to draw this line. So I'll give copy. I'll take copy tool from the modify panel. Then I'll select this edge and then the base point and the second point at a distance of 16 units. Okay. Then I must draw this line, which is at a distance of 20 units from this edge. Okay, from the right edge. Uh, so I can again make use of the copy edges uh, tool of the solid editing panel. Then I'll select this edge. When I'm asked to get the base point, I can pick a point over here. I can turn the ortho mode on, take the cursor in the negative x direction, and you can simply type the distance as 20 units. Okay, now we have got all the construction lines required. Now I'll go to trim command. I'll select the trim tool of the modify panel, then I'll select all the cutting edges, then I'll just trim off these additional edges. Okay, now I must draw a circle right over here, then I'll be trimming the bottom half to construct this arc. So I'll use the circle tool with the center radius option, then I'll select this midpoint as the center point, and you can radius, you can give either as a numeric value or else you can just pick a point over here because that distance determines the radius. Now I can just trim off the bottom half using the trim tool. Okay. And uh, this can be erased. So I'll select the erase tool and uh, get rid of this. Okay. Now I have to cut this area. For that, you can just go to press pull tool and uh, just pick a point inside and just drag the mouse 
all the way down till it crosses this thickness. Okay, then you just leave it. It has automatically made a cut. You don't have to subtract it because that's the use of press pull. Now we can just erase this bottom profile which you have used, which you have drawn first. Okay, that's not required. You can just uh, erase. Now we have to create this profile. Then we will extrude that profile. Okay, but if you want to make this profile, you have to align the uses on this face. You know that this face is nothing but the front face of this object. So I must align the uses with the front face. So go to view and uh, you just go to use as friend because in the uh, in the coordinates panel you have the various options related with UCS available just click the orientation of the UCS to the front so it automatically aligns with the front face now you have to shift the origin to this point because I am planning to construct the profile right on this plane okay so it would be better if you can uh, take this corner point as the reference point or the origin point. There is an option over here that is called uh, that is UCS origin. Click on the origin option and you select the desired origin point. Okay, just click on that. So the origin got shifted. So this origin is going to be your reference point. Based on the 000, you are going to define this point. Okay, in fact, uh, your UCS is kept over here on this corner. If you want to define this point, you have to give X, Y and Z coordinate. That means in absolute coordinates. You know that this distance is 16 units. So that determines the X coordinate. And what about Y? Since uh, this corner is exactly on this plane, you don't have to give any Y. Y is 0 there. Z coordinate is nothing but this distance. That is 22 units. In fact, since the X, Y plane is here, this Z is a minus value. Okay. So I'll draw a polyline. You can just go to home tab and click on the polyline tool. And you have to give the coordinates in absolute values. So I must start with X first. So I'll give 16 comma and Y. Y is 0, 0. And I should give an Z coordinate of minus 22 because it's in the negative Z direction. So you have located this point. That means this point is exactly located over here. Okay, now you can give a height of 28 because that is what is given here. I'll give 28. Then I must move rightward through a distance of through a distance of 40. That's given 40. Then back uh, you can 28 straight down. Okay, then you can just close it. So you have made a rectangle. Now this arc is to be made. Okay, for that you can just make a circle and trim. To make an arc so I'll go to circle tool and I'll take center radius then I'll if you try to pick over here you can see that uh, this plane is highlighted that is because the dynamic UCS is on so you can just disable the dynamic UCS temporarily so I have disabled it now you can just pick the point over here that is the center of the circle now you can give a radius as 12 because the diameter is given there as 24 so the radius is 12 so I'll give 12 you can just take the trim tool of modify panel okay then I'll just select these two objects enter you can trim these two okay now you can extrude this profile but before extrusion you have to join these profiles so I'll go to modify panel and I'll select join from join tool from here. Then you can select this and these two profiles. Now it is converted as a single profile. Now you can just extrude this profile. Okay, you can select the profile and you can give either the height of extrusion as the value which is given here. In fact, it is 64 minus 22. That is 42. Or else you can just pick a point over here. You can just pick to specify the extrusion that is you can select a perpendicular and you can pick a point over here so that distance will be automatically taken so you have made that component as well now you have to create this small component okay it can be easily created by drawing this profile and giving an extrusion through a distance of 12 units because that value is given here and it's very easy to pick those profiles because all the points are available here so I'll go to I'll select the polyline 
tool and I'll pick the corners okay here and I'll just give close to complete the polyline okay you can either press pull or or you can extrude I'll just uh, press pull this then give uh, 12 unit as the distance okay next we have to make this part but you know that if you want to make this part you have to construct a profile on a different plane in fact that plane is uh, the uh, right plane if you have any confusions in identifying the various faces of an object in AutoCAD 3D I'll explain in just one minutes first of all you just switch over to world coordinate setup okay just click on the WCS tool of the coordinate palette now based on this WCS okay the various phases are identified you know that this is the front face look at the uh, view cube this is the front face and this is the right face and this is the top face the one which is opposite to right is the left face and the one which is opposite to front is the back face so if you want to construct this profile you have to align the UCS with the right face because this is the right face so I'll click on this uh, pop-up over here and I'll select right okay now let us construct the profile so I'll go to home tab and I'll select uh, the line tool and I'll click the start point here and uh, this height is given as 48 so I'll give 48 units and uh, this distance is given as 64 so I'll give 64 then I'll come down again 48 you can pick this point and you can just close it okay so we have made this profile now there is a fillet over here with a radius of 32 units so I'll go to fillet tool and I'll give a radius of 32 units okay I'll type 32 and I'll select the first line and the second line it got filleted now you can just join these profiles as a single uh, object and you can extrude or press pull so I'll go to modify and I'll select join from here and I'll select the profiles to be joined now I can just uh, go to extrude and I'll select the profile to be extruded and I'll give a height of extrusion of 16 units now we have to combine all these parts into a single object for that you can go to union operation just select the union tool and you click all the objects to be joined okay now it is combined as a single object you can change the display representation or visual style to realistic okay and you can just uh, orbit around the object and you can view it okay you can just uh, select orbit and you can visualize the object so you can try this figure on your own I have provided the image file of this figure along with the video description of this video I have also incorporated two more figures for you to try following the same sequence of steps so these are the figures which I have provided along with the video description see these figures are having a different view that is the southwest isometric okay so how will you generate a southwest isometric here before you start off you have to switch over uh, the UCS back to WCS so I'll just uh, take the UCS back to world just clicking by clicking on this icon now you can generate a southwest by clicking on this particular hotspot of the view cube okay then you can proceed in the next lesson we will annotate uh, this model by incorporating all the necessary dimensions on various sites